Hey guys, it's me, Accidental Boar, and today we have Darklight. Um, as usual, this is just a random game from my library that I downloaded. So, it, according to OBS, it is a platformer adventure game. Um, so, that's what I know. <clears throat> uh, this one, too, did recommend controller play, uh, just like the last one. Um, I will say that the window for this for me, is a, a, like 48-inch TV. So the scaling is coming out really weird for me on OBS, so hopefully it doesn't look too terrible for you. Um, but let's see what it looks like. The art is kind of uh, Matrix-y looking, so that could be good. Um, attention, Dark Hunter, I am Combat Drone something or another. Mission Return to the Congo Bay, your memory is still recovering. I will operate in survival mode until it's done. Yeah, so, right stick is camera, left stick is moving... Uh, right trigger seems to be asking him to repeat what's going on. Or maybe I just waited too long. Okay, never mind, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that seems to be something that I just used up. I have no ammo. We do have double jump though, so that's cool. That explodey boy was left trigger, by the way. Seems I have a. Oh, okay. So a little bit of water won't kill me, so that's good. R1 seems to be interacting with things. Oh, wait, how did I do that? Oh, okay, so that just charges up after a while, I guess. Um, Oh, I see, yeah. L1 is that grenade I just picked up, and L2 is that orbiter guy exploding. I'm trying to... Okay, so... Oh, okay, so your inventory is the middle button on PS4 controllers. So C is roll... Apparently shards is what I want from my praise, according to the little robot guy. I don't know, but this is kind of giving me Dead Cells vibes. This may be a roguelike, even. This is the energy bank. You can sell your shards here in exchange for currency. Walk over the shards. Your suit will pick them up for you. Sorry, I thought we were loading, but we were not.
Buy ammo from weapon vendor or loot ammo by killing enemies. Tap utility button to reload when ammo is low. Wait a minute. Oh, that was not what I wanted. So now we have 24 ammos. Jump on the platform above you. Oh, let me see. Oh, I have to press L. Or D-pad. Or, oh my gosh, sorry. Left analog. There's some annoying parasites looking for bottles to live on. Let's kill them. When you're in the air, hold down and press jump to do a power jump. Power drop, but whatever. Um, uh, your health will auto-refill when you walk over a potion. Cool. Pass this door. Bro, what you mean? Pass this door. Oh, press the utility button? Oh, I just wasted that grenade instead. Uh, hold the utility button to use Rejuvenate Orb to regain part of your health when you need it. Press the swap potion button to switch to another potion. When your energy is drained, you will temporarily lose the ability to attack, and your drone light will be turned off until the energy starts to regain. Yeah, you'll lose every shard if you die. Yeah, I think this is a roguelike. So that's interesting. Maybe we should investigate the right side first. We should talk to someone to get some information. Uh, Battlemaster Warwick. In this bleak and unforgiving world, the line between man and monster is blurred. Those elusive and malicious creatures that crawl in the shadows were once human, now twisted and corrupted by the darkness that consumes all. It is a reminder that in this cruel existence, even the most innocent souls can be transformed into something unrecognizable and vile. In this bleak and desolate world, honor is a distant memory. The only choices that remain are to turn on oneself or to turn on others with cold, merciless violence. Okay, calm down, Merrick. Make your offering to God Knight to make you stronger. By utilizing the level up menu, you can use currency to increase your attributes and consequently raise your level. As your level increases, the amount of currency needed for your next attribute increase will also increase. I have zero currency. <laughs> oh, it says I upgraded those things, even though I didn't do anything. Uh, good evening, Hunter. How can I serve you? I can ask who he is and tell me about this place. As a stand in Cargo Bay T-140 of Undercity, I take one last look of what remains of humanity. The Dark Void has pierced through the last of our defenses and the creatures of the night have taken over the world. The survivors of this new world have formed tribes searching the scattered remains for what little hope of survival can be found. If we could take down the host 
the dark portal, we might have a chance to end this chaos. Tell me about Dark Void. The Dark Void is a plague of unfathomable proportion, a virus of the darkest origin. Its true form remains unknown to all, as no civilization has ever been spared its destruction. It corrupts and mutates all living things, even those that are part machine. The void comes from a realm beyond our own, and it exists only to bring destruction. Yet the host of the Dark Portal, the source of the evil, lies within the celestial towers of the ruins of my master's starship. Many obstacles lie ahead, but I will. I must remain vigilant if I am to succeed in my mission. Maybe I could help. The dark murky water of the Undercity seeps through the air, a reminder of the forgotten generator that has long since ceased to function. The Ziznal City of Flesh lies in ruin, a place of death and decay locked away behind a guardian who stands sentry at the gate. Despite being the only route to the host's tower, it is a journey few are willing to make, even in the face of great need. The people of the Undercity whispered his name in hushed tones, the Butcher. He was crafted by the Celestials to help protect humanity from the looming darkness, yet the darkness had managed to seize control of him. If you wish to find your way, you must face him and pray that you have the strength to prevail. Uh, slip the trickle, uh, select the triple triangle icon at the top navigation bar, then select the faction logo for quest information. Uh, cargo Bay Soldiers, Corrupted Sentinel, Corrupted Celestial Sentinel, Chamiaholum. Alrighty then. Location, Ancient Sewers. The Sentinels were created to be the Watchers, meant to be immortal with the power of regeneration. Only a few of them were left, corrupted, defeated. Defeat the strong, strongest Sentinel called Um, And I will get stuff. Uh, you can put your weapons and stones in here. We'll keep them safe for you. Well, exchange collected shard currency here. Oh, I see. So that gave me a little bit of money. Let's see if this guy can do something now. Uh... Oh, I see. So our base um, cost is going to be 500 currency, um, and I have not that. So we're going to go to the bank, I guess. Uh, how do I... Inventory weapons, inventory gear, inventory items, weapon vault, gear vault, item vault. Okay, so it seems that I cannot actually store a currency. So welcome to drone service station. Spike 900 stun drone. Elite soldiers may access this stun skill via the Spike 900 drone, which is standard equipment for such personnel. The stun drone is capable of temporary stunning nearby enemies, making it an invaluable tool in combat. Oh, actually... Oh, well, no, it does say that I have money, don't it? Let's try this. Ugh. All right, well, if I bite the big one, I guess we'll just lose our money. Mm, use Jim to enhance your weapons elementally here. I don't have that. What this? Oh, maybe that brings the elevator back?
but I forgot that we can go to the left, so... What's this guy? The combat portal is on the left side, upper ground. Good luck. Oh, he's going to sell us our uh, augmentations. He's going to sell us augmentations. This guy says look sharp. I take it this is the combat portal. Trade and upgrade your weapon here. Um, and another elevator. Let's try this elevator. Oh, it goes up, not down. I think we're supposed to go to the sewer, yeah? Uh, but what's over here? Nossing. What's he say? Good luck, Dark Hunter. This lift will bring you to the Undercity. I mean, I think that's where we're supposed to go, right? No. Maybe? I don't know. Watch out your energy. You will temporarily lose the ability to attack when your energy is drained. I think it briefly mentioned that at some point. This sign says turn around. Um, oh. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens when you die. Because <laughs> I just fell off a cliff. Oh, it's game over. Press right before the enemies attack. You can parry and counter strike with the R3 button, apparently. So that's good to know. So apparently, yeah, you just start from, uh, let's find a portal and rest there. What? Oh, man. Oops. Um. Oh, my. So apparently those get right back up. Uh, drone energy orb that are... Oh. Voice memo one, labo two is compromised, massive structural damage. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. I just have to keep pressing the strike button. And barrels are also destroyed with the strike button. Uh, the Diamond Order is beckoning you, offering you a glimpse at the might of their knights, but be warned the path to true power lies in joining the Order and helping them snuff out the Vile Blood Savage Wolf Clan. Uh... Okay. I guess we'll grab... A passive that gives us higher stuff. Uh, use the top navigation bar to find the skill menu. You can equip your skills or use the quick swap buttons for fast skill swap during combat. Okay. Uh, press skill left or skill right to quick swap skills. Press swap throw to qu quick switch between drone skills and throwable items. Okay. That was scary. He had a freaking shotgun or something. What this? Press utility button to rest or travel at portal. I guess rest? He told me I should rest. Hold the utility button to use regenerative orbs to regain part of your health. Oh, that's right. Um... Oh, you will be respawned here. 
and all enemies will be reset. Oh, cool. That means I can come back and stab these guys again. <laughs> Oh, there was like a second thingy. Parasite, yep. Okay. Now that I smacked the living crap out of him, we can go back this way. <laughs> Just trying to collect some orbs so that you guys can get a glimpse here of uh, whatever that's going to do. Oh, so that thing heals me once. Perhaps. Only once. I don't know. Nothing in the lockers. Lame. I don't know. Definitely can't go over there, but what about up here? Yeah, there we go. Man, I will tell you what, it is really hard to see those parasites until they're, like, ripping your flesh apart. Uh, I don't know if we take fall damage, but... Not for now, anyway. At least not from that height. Oh, wait, I see. So... Scary. Uh, let's... I'm a bank broker, you see. I can help you exchange your shards into currency while you're out in the field. Interested? Okay. Cool beans. Thanks, man. Um, this thingy command active homing drones to seek detonate and inflict fire damage on your enemies. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Now our L1 is kamikaze drones. Okay, there's a guy up here though. Oh, those guys are infected with a parasite. Okay. So yeah, shooting those guys in the face seems pretty effective. That guy is dangerous. He did a lot of damage. Everything else had been doing like two damage to me, but he did like 18 in one hit. Incendiary Grenade, and a two-handed sword of rare quality. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, that was scary. Buddy turret. Okie dokie. Uh, what this? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, I need a key. That's unhelpful. Oh, I can just open this door. So that's cool. R1, without DLS devices, we are sitting ducks. I assume he's someone who got blown apart in the lab, whatever was going on. Ooh, I don't want to go that way yet. Because it looks like there's a thingy. Yay! Thingy! But it does seem like if I jump down there, I will just get deaded. Um. Well. Oh, you hold R1 to heal, and tapping it is, um, which seems I didn't have to do that because there was a thing right there. Oh, nope, I could have jumped down without biting the big one. Okay, well. You win some, you lose some. I'm gonna go up though and see if there's anything off to the right here. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. So there's like a way down, but... Let's try kamikaze drones. Uh, so I still have to hit it to send them actively. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Guess I should have known that when it said it was an active skill, huh? Thing can follow me down here, but I hope not. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, Ooh. I wonder, because it kind of seems like there's more stuff this way. Oh, that was scary. Okay, let's try. So, gonna heal twice. Okay. Oh, that is a big scary dude. Okay, so... 
gonna heal three times. <laughs> and uh, pick up some of this stuff. And let's L1, 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 and. Ah, oh, I got splattered. Bummer. Yeah. Uh, so we did keep our currency, though. So we just dropped the orbs. Um... We are at about the 30 minute mark on this video, so I'm just gonna try to figure out if we go back there, if we can get our orbs back, and that should give you guys some pretty decent info. Okay. Need a key for that one too. Um, yeah, let's just. Because House of Blood Wolf offers whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, honestly. Find Bionic Eye of Balance. Can we just like equip that right now? Or like. Oh, yeah, we totally can. Oh, I see. So there's only one slot. That one's plus one strength. So that's cool. Confirm. Can curb stomp enemies. Find Skull of Balance, plus three health, not bad. And then we'll heal. And then I'm actually gonna go back a little bit and see if that guy will help me transform these orbs again. Um, Okay, yeah, no, I don't think he's there. Oh, wait, yeah, he is. Yeah, there we go. So now we'll save, you know, a little bit of what we have, even if I get roasted by that guard again. Which is likely because he's scary. Okay. And heal and go down.
There we go. Ooh, interesting. I really need to use that stun in that situation. grenade okay so can confirm at the very least um, the orbs that you drop when you die do disappear or I may have just taken too long to be honest to get over here but I think this is a roguelike um, and currency is basically you want to you want to switch your orbs for currency so that you can keep them um, even if you get roasted. Yeah, so. Ooh, that's, that's a good one. Door seems to be locked. Okay. Um. Ugh, that was scary. Those ones just seem to casually appear out of nowhere if you come close enough. The shop did say something along the lines of, um, not the shop, the, uh, little level up statue guy did seem to say something along the lines of, um, my brain is not working so well right now. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, he said 500 currency was enough to upgrade something. Um, also, though, if you store 5,000, apparently you get a buff of some sort.
Ooh, I don't know what that guy is. I don't know if I like that. Oh. Sturdy reinforced tendons of absorption. Plus one agility and plus four melee poison damage. All right. That's pretty cool. Does this other eyeball have anything good? Plus two intellect, plus eight mana. Um, well, I don't seem to be using a lot of mana for anything. Wow, look at this. I have a skill point. Which means I can get Concussive Blast. No, I'm sorry. Uh, Sonic Core gives you the ability to dash. Her wait. Oh, I see. Uh, throwables. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh huh. Oh boy, yeah, he is electrocuting me just by existing in my general presence. Don't like that. Man, I have yet to find another portal though, huh? Found a turret. Excellent. I'm actually going to heal a little too. Excellent. Alright, well, I think you guys get the gist of this. Essentially, it, it is a roguelike. Um, Post-apocalyptic, I guess, is the term I would use. Um, it's very much like Dead Cells. If you like Dead Cells, I think you'll really like this game. Um, I do love Dead Cells, and I love this game. So I'm going to probably keep playing this, so... My next video could be a little late again. So we'll catch you next time on Random Games in My Steam Library. Thanks. Bye.